Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today we're making pumpkin crumble muffins. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. I love baking in the fall. I love the flavors of pumpkin and apple and cinnamon and nutmeg. And today we're gonna make some pumpkin crumble muffins with a pecan crumbly top on them. They are delicious. So we're gonna start by getting all of our dry ingredients together and then our wet ingredients together. So first off, let's get some flour. We're gonna need one and three quarters cups of flour. All right, so we got our flour. The next thing is baking powder. I need a teaspoon of that. You really could make this into a loaf, but I like how quick it bakes since they are muffins. So then we need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. and a cup of sugar. So let's go grab that out of my bin. I said one cup, right? <laughs> and some delicious brown sugar. We need a half a cup of brown sugar. And a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and that's about all I have left in here. So that is done. And one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. All right. Let's give this a good mix and get it incorporated, and then we'll start on our wet ingredients. Now, if you want to add nuts to the batter, you can to these dry ingredients. I'm gonna leave them out since um, they're in the topping too, but if you want them in both places, go ahead. If you do that, you're gonna want a half a cup of pecans in the batter. All right, so now we want two eggs. Oh my gosh, these are tough. Oh, jeez. Way to go, chicken. I'm gonna have to wash after that one. Okay, we need a whole cup of pumpkin and I'm just using Libby's 100% pumpkin. If you've got pie pumpkins, you can cook those down and use that. You could even use cooked squash. Now, if you're wondering what to do, since it's about a half a can of pumpkin, I have a pumpkin scone recipe. I'll leave the link up here. That is the best way to get rid of the rest of the pumpkin. I hate to say get rid of, use up. So put that in. Then we need a half a cup of oil. I'm using avocado oil. You can use canola or vegetable oil or olive oil, whatever you have. All right, and put this in. Also, get all that out. Need about a teaspoon of vanilla in here. And we're gonna give it a mix with the electric mixer here. Okay, we've got that. And then I'm just gonna gently add flour mixture a little bit at a time. <laughs> This really does go together pretty quickly. All right, let's just give it a good stir, make sure it's all incorporated, get it off the bottom. All right, so let's set that aside and we'll make our crumble topping. All right, so I have a third of a cup of butter and I'm going to get that kind of soft in the microwave, about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, so I've got it kind of melty, it's nice and soft. 
If you want to cut it in hard, you totally can. So we need a two thirds cup of brown sugar in the topping. And that is about what I have left in here. <laughs> Good, well, we got that empty. I can go get another one, fill that up. So we've got our brown sugar. We need a teaspoon of cinnamon. and a third cup of flour. So let me grab that. We're gonna mix this together. I'm gonna add some pecans to this too. I just love muffins with these crumbly toppings. You wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And these muffins only take about 25 minutes to bake. All right, let's add some pecans. It calls for a half a cup. And these are just diced pieces of pecan here. I find that if you add them after you've got your crumble mixture all together, then you're not trying to smush all the pecans too. Now we'll just get it mixed in well. Okay, so let's set that aside. I'm gonna clean up my area and get my muffin tins and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got our pumpkin, uh, muffin mixture, we've got a crumble topping ready. And I, you can use um, the muffin, the cupcake muffin liners if you want. These are actually made out of parchment. They're very expensive to buy at the store, but I just thought I'd show you how I did them. So this is just a six inch square of parchment and a little plastic cup that you probably have from your kids. So you're just gonna fold it in half like a mountain, like this way and this way. And we're just doing this to find the middle. And I'm using this cup because it fits in the bottom of the muffin tin. So I'm gonna flip the cup over. I'm gonna put the, the center fold in the middle of the cup. And I'm just gonna kind of press it down. And where you made your folds on the parchment, I'm just gonna fold it and kind of Smooth it around so it kind of takes a round shape like your muffin tin. So these kind of gonna look like the bakery style, all fancy. These take a minute, then I just kind of squish it down. And there you're good to go. So I am using my muffin scoop, or you can use, whoop, we use an ice cream scoop. I'm not sure if we're gonna get all the batter in 12, but I have extra. So let's see how it goes. You wanna fill these all the way full. I know a lot of recipes say two thirds full, but you really want them all the way full. I like a poofy full muffin too. And I like using the parchment like this, especially when you have the crumble topping because it holds it all in place. So I'm just going and adding a little bit more, probably like a teaspoon-ish. Get all this delicious goodness out of here. These smell so yummy. All right, so I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm gonna sprinkle some strudel on the top. And when that muffin bakes, all that strudel is gonna be hanging out on the top. I think I just threw some somewhere. I don't know where it went. Yummy, I can't wait these to eat these. Yes, I'm fussing with them. I usually don't, but all right. I am, I feel like I have wet, sandy hands. Yum. Look at all those good crumbs. All right, so we're gonna pop these in a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. So a couple minutes ago, I checked and the muffins weren't done. So I added four minutes. We're gonna check them again, see how they're doing. I wonder, there it goes. They are so beautiful. I just wanna make sure they're done. Well, that one's done. I think, I think we're good. This comes out clean. So let's carefully take them over to our cooling rack. So pretty.
Oh my goodness. These are so beautiful. I wish you could smell them as well. So I'm going to wait a couple minutes before I pull them out because I want them to cool just a tiny bit. Then I'm going to pull them out of the um, muffin tin, but you can see the paper especially helps on these specific muffins because the muffin really grew up and it looks like a bakery muffin. I mean, they are, they're beautiful. They're amazing. I can't wait to share these. I'm just gonna pull one out, but you can see they're, they're way hot. But look how beautiful they are. So these kind of have little handles on them. So I'm just gonna pick them up really gently, set them on a cooling rack. and wait for them to cool, because I know that strudel mixture on top of the brown sugar is gonna be super hot too. Man, if you didn't have that paper, this would be the biggest mess in history. It really would be, yeah. This is one of those times when you really need to use these. It's so pretty though. It Denver it says it smells good too. He can't have any of this. Sorry, puppy. It is so hard not to eat one of these, but I can't even pick it up with my hands yet. They are so hot. So if you've got kids that need a great snack, if you want just a special breakfast for fall, or you want to take them to a neighbor or a friend or to work to share them, this is the perfect muffin because they are so beautiful and they are so delicious. And I hope that you try these because why not celebrate fall with some pumpkin? I know I love pumpkin muffins. Thanks for joining me, you guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you're enjoying all these videos. I hope they're just a really good resource for you to learn how to make things and then share them with your family. You guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Wow, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna show you how. It sounds like a hobbit, if I named a hobbit that. My name's Pumpkin Crumble Muffin. <laughs> Some elf that works at the North Pole. Oh my gosh. Well, wow. <laughs> things are going so good and then they worked. Correct. Awesome. I'm tired. Get the espresso card over here. So we added a little, oh my gosh. That one, I want that one. I should have made a baker's After. dozen. Gonna taste good, I know.